Okay, back on tower yet again. Uh, I've been going into the workshop condos a lot lately, and I'm kind of running out of, like, new condos to kind of go into. I have not checked this one out yet. It's just called the Horror Theater, and I, I love horror so much, so I went, okay, let's do it. And the description says, like, escape something, so I think we might have, like, a bit of a story thing. Here we go. This theater was once a happy and fun place to hang out and watch movies. But a very mysterious man killed and destroyed mostly everything here, and is still there to this day haunting the place. Can you escape his presence? So I said, okay, cool. Toy Story, yes. The pinnacle of horror. Alright, I mean, to be fair, Sid's pretty fooked up in Jaws. Jaws is a classic. We got a knife, we got some pill bottles, some blood. Okay, this is looking pretty promising. Ooh, the Sandlot. Hello? You're still alive? I'm not sure if I'd really classify... The Sandlot is horrifying. I mean, the sequel, maybe. But okay. So we got a bunch of stuff going on here. Oh, you're doing pretty good. Perfect. I can serve myself. We got a little teleporter. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go in this room first, see what we got. Alright, so this just leads back to the lobby. So what's in Theater 3? Oh, it's Legion. Hi, Legion. Wow, imagine being, uh, that, that's Frank. Imagine being Frank. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Alright. What do we got? We got stuffed animals. Oh, it's Legion again. Hi, Legion. Oh. We got an advertisement for, like, a Discord, and now we're back. Okay. Is there anything in Theater 2? There's no clip through. There's nothing. So, this entire theater is just someone took the Legion character model from Dead by Daylight twice and made it, like, it's a little, like, escape thing. Is that what you mean? That's fair. If that's what they want to do, go for it. Uh, I was expecting a little, something a little bit different, but you know, I like the theming of, like, the lobby. I think there needs to, like, still be work done. Not to, like, trash that. I'll still give it a thumbs up. I like the theming of the lobby with, like, the blood and stuff and, like, the knife and the pill bottles and, like, you know, making innocent movies, tr you know, give it, like, an attempt to give it, like, a tower creepiness, but I was hoping for something a little bit more. <laughs> but it's a good start. Can't complain. I wasn't expecting Legion. I'll keep saying Legion. How many times can I say Legion? Do I really want to go to the plaza? I don't think so. Yeah, we got people waiting for bed zoom. I'm down. I'm down for a quick race. Why not? Let's do it. I'm just kind of down to do whatever at this point. Screw it. But yeah, not much new with me. Um, if you've been on the channel recently, uh, you know I've been starting up another Let's Play for a game called Paradise Killer. Uh, I'm just recording it like here and there because A, it's a very long game. And B, my voice dies if I play it, because it's a lot of reading. But if you haven't checked it out yet, it's a really cool game. Uh, Let's Play doesn't really have much input from me in a lot of different areas, because I have to read a lot of text. Uh, but basically, it is one of the cooler indie games I've played recently, because it's like, what happens if you take Phoenix Wright, you mix it with, like, L.A. Noir, and then you add Breath of the Wild to it. Because basically, like, you're almost like in a future world, and in the future world... Um, like, Earth, or, like, the planet gets, like, remade to, like, be perfect and blah 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 right? Um, but a murder happens amongst, like, the council who remakes the, uh, the planet. And so you gotta go to the planet and figure out who murdered who, and, like, you can call a trial at any time, and, like, you can claim who made the murder and end the game, whatever. But because it's open world and you can do whatever the hell you want, you can investigate anything and interview anyone as you try and gather evidence to get the best possible ending and the right conclusion. So it's really like you can go to the ending right away, or you can Breath of the Wild it and just explore the world, collect things, get money, buy hints, talk to these people around the world, solve a murder, so uh, the next form of Earth can uh, get, uh, get underway. It's really cool. I'm really enjoying it, but it's, it's a lot of reading. It's, it's a tricky, tricky, you know? So far, so good. 
This is going really good. But yeah, that's what I've been um playing on YouTube besides this, and I'll probably record like another two episodes over the next week. And then on my stream, oh, I actually got a bowling ball hit. Holy crap, and an achievement. I'll take it. Um, yeah, that's what I've been recording. Um, and then streaming, I'm playing through the drive uh, through the driver games uh, on PS1, which let me tell you, bullshit difficult. Oh my god. I've never played the Driver series before, especially the original two. Uh, Driver was basically what we had in terms of like 3D open world driving exploration crime games before Grand Theft Auto went 3D. Um, so like these games are pretty old. Um, but it's a lot about like being a wheelman and bumping people off the road and like getting certain areas for your gang. There's no shooting or anything, it's, it's just pure driving. But like it's it's open world and cop chases and all that. Uh, but driver is very low frame rate. It definitely looks like it's like 22 years old because it is. Um, and it is so mind-numbingly difficult because you gotta. Oh. No, I'm dumb. Um. You just gotta do everything oh so goddamn perfectly in these games, or else you're gonna get ran off the road out of nowhere. And like pedestrians, well not pedestrians, but like other cars spawn at like random places. And you gotta hope you don't actually hit them, because like they'll freaking T-bone you off the road, and the cops will always be like freaking. They just won't like breathe, dude. I don't know, like how to explain it, like it's just one of the most intensely difficult games ever. But it's because, it, it's difficult because it's just completely random. Like, you're at the mercy of how the game spawns things in and has, like, the AI react to you. Because sometimes the AI will just freaking hammer right into you, especially, like, if you have to squeeze through a tight area. Like, they'll make sure, like, they spawn the AI in a way where it's going to swerve into you. So you always got to, like, just wait for that one run, like, where just the AI doesn't even spawn in. Like, the pedestrians just don't spawn in. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> But I'm almost done with the second game now. Almost. Get in there. Probably not gonna do the third one for a bit, though. Easy first place. Wait, I didn't get. F Wait, no. I totally got first. Did the other one actually finish ahead of me? That looked like I was in the lead, or did I just like have like a heart flash and like I saw it wrong? I feel like I just got screwed. Probably because I was like so deep into talking. But yeah, Driver's a nightmare, but it's totally worth playing if you don't mind getting mindlessly frustrated. Uh, and I've also bought up a bunch of- I've been buying up like a lot of PS1 games on eBay, not many. But I think I've got like 15 or 20. Like for really cheap. I got like some old sport games I used to love as a kid, and then I bought the Planet of the Apes game because I've always been curious about it. Um, but I've been buying up mainly like a lot of game show games, like Wheel of Fortune, uh, Family Feud, um, Jeopardy, stuff like that. I got like 10 of them, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Weakest Link, PS1 had a ton of these. Uh, so I'm probably gonna start doing, uh, going to start doing game show days on my channel on Twitch. And just like let all chat like participate with me to try and like get the right answers and all that. Sounds fun. Sounded fun to me at least. So apparently I lost by a quarter, 0.25, 0 0.025 seconds. I'm calling bullshit, but whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that soon. So that's been like what I've been buying. I'm still pretty heavy into my diet. I talked about it last uh, last video, but I'm on a 1,200 calorie per day diet, and I'm doing an 18-6 uh, fast, which means I eat. Um, fast for 18 hours a day, and I only eat during 6 hours, and during those 6 hours I have 1,200 calories max. Uh, I'm approaching 10 pounds lost now, which is great, but that still means I have a solid, like, 40 more pounds to lose before I'm content. Um, so I'm getting through, I'm doing pretty good with that. My, my stomach's kind of adjusted, my body's kind of adjusted. I'm doing uh, two meal replacement shakes a day and like one big dinner where I'm doing two meal replace uh, replacement shakes, a small little snack, and a medium sized like dinner. That's kind of been like my uh, my diet plan. I'm probably going to be sticking to that for like another month and a half, two months, and then I might like amp up the calories a little bit because I can't keep, you know, like that level of like, calorie intake that low for that long. But it's been like a nice shock to the system. I'm very used to it. I definitely miss uh, I definitely miss certain foods. 
I've had like an irresistible craving for Papa John's lately. Uh, no rhyme, no reason. So, gotta make sure these next few months kind of go by nice and quick. So I gain good health and I can start eating normally again, the way I like to. But I let myself go a little bit too far. And I left myself go unchecked for too long. So I think it's like kind of between like COVID and like being working home full time for years now. You just kind of like, um, lose track of what's going on. So. Yeah, I decided to finally take control of that and I'm pretty proud of myself for it. It's one of the first places pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. What else have I been doing? Oh, I've been watching all the Tremors movies again. Tremors is one of my all-time favorite uh, horror films. If you want to consider it horror, because I consider it more like monster... I mean, I guess monster movie is horror. But, like, I don't really consider like Tremors to be like a terrifying or like horrific movie, but it's definitely a horror movie. Um... But I've always loved Tremors, but I have not watched uh, Tremors 6 or 7. I got all the way up to, like, their, like, first movie they made, like, in a long time, like, in, I think it was Africa. I think it was called, like, Love Lines or New Blood or something. I forget the subtitle. So I just watched uh, Cold Day in Hell, and after this I'm watching uh, Shriek I Shrieker Island. I think it was the name of the subtitle for it. Okay, I always love Tremors. You never watched it. It's totally worth watching. At least the first one. Um, because it's about, like, uh... They're in a Midwestern town with, like, a population of, like, 20 people. It's taking place, like, in the early 90s, so, like, cell phones and stuff not happening. Um, and basically a monster starts, comes back to life or, like, reappears, like, on Earth that nobody ever knew about. But, like, it, it appears in this town and it's called Tremors because it is a monster that lives under the surface of the ground and detects vibrations and reaches up from the sand and just pulls you under and kills you. Um, but this is basically the general outline. And they're all really good movies, but after, they, they're all very cheesy, but like, like, they get progressively cheesy. Hell yeah, another trophy. I'll take it. But, um... Yeah, Drummers is fun. I can't wait to watch the, uh, the last one of the series so far. Whether or not to keep making them, I don't know, but they have, uh, their lead guy. I forget the name of the actor, but he plays a character named Bert. And he's been doing the role now for like 30, 35 years. He's getting really old, but like he is just so perfect. Like Tremors is not Tremors without him at all. Yeah, it's just kind of fun going back to him watching. Cool, dude. Let's call on it. Let's call it on accelerate there. Um, turn the menu. A collection book. How am I doing on accelerated achievements actually? 64%. Nice. So I gotta win 50 races. I'm not even halfway. Gotta get a lot more golf. Block more stuff. Hit more people with the moon. Race through. Okay, and that's just race through everything 20. And get a wishy washy waterfall trophy. Have I got that? No, I haven't got that. Damn. So I still gotta do that. But like, nothing I have here is too brutal. I should be able to get all of it. Cool. Do I, do, do I want to do anything else in the game world? Is Crusaders going? Uh, it is. Why not? I had to think. I was like, do I want to go to the plaza or do I want to do Crusaders? I haven't done Crusaders in a while. Do I have like, anything else left to get like Crusaders? I think it might just be Fancy Ghost, right? Or anything else? Oh, you become a Count of Mystic Grove. That's the only thing I haven't done. Alright. I am recognized. That feeds my ego, dude. <laughs> that definitely feeds the ego. Alright. But, um, yee, let's see what happens here. I feel like we have, like, the good old-fashioned Mexican standoff. Ugh. 
I think the good old Mac fashion Mexican standoff is done. Alright. What happened to you? Hello, sir. How you doing? Alright. I come here. I feel like my ego is being fed so much. Oh my god. <laughs> I have not played Little Crusaders in a hot minute. And I'm never very good at this role, as most people know. Yo, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? There, oh, there's the big dragon. I was like, how do I lose sight of, like, the gigantic-ass dragon? <laughs> there he is. Hold. I got an idea. Yeah. I think that angers the dragon. Come at me. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I feel like I should, uh, press the button. Fuck it. Uh oh. <laughs> I broke the truce. That's like me every single night when I want to go to bed. Alright, Jeff is the dragon. Alright, let's try the sword technique again. Yeah. That did not go anywhere. Alright. Yeah, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm, Oh, I got some good air. <laughs> I got some great air, dude. Excellent air, even. All right. Way right here. Got a stock. I'm not used to like little crusader rounds taking so long anymore. I feel like the last few times I've played it, these rounds are always done like in five, ten seconds. But we got like a lot of uh, people that have played a lot of this. Yeah, holy crap. I'm out of my element. I feel like there's something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what. Here we are. Hello, sir. Okay, who's gonna make the first move? Who's gonna make it? There we go. Now what do we got? I feel like we're just like in the biggest old standoff. I mean, I could easily roar. <laughs> That's a burb. Holy crap, they actually got the jump. <laughs> you hate to see it. Oh, I get it again. Okay. I stunned that man? 
I stunned him, and I feel like I got cheated on my on my chance for redemption. <laughs> We teabag him. I feel like this entire lobby is just go like on a pillar and shake your head now. That's okay. Huh. That's okay. What is happening? Hi, Jeff. Yeah, no, I'm good. I know they're testing stuff, but you know. Ooh, good. no, this is my bird. No. Jeff. Shit. I want him a birdie. I feel heartbroken. I feel like they're just like testing stuff in this lobby, and I like I don't want to like intrude on them like testing at all. <laughs> so I might just back out of this in a second. Cause they got a lot of runs to uh they got a lot of stuff to kind of check out still. It's so, like I don't want to really intrude, but I'm pretty sure they're just like talking and like trying to like test stuff out. But hey, I was it was cool to come in here and have like my ego stroked, so that was pretty cool. Let's do like one more round, I'm probably gonna back out of this, because I, I don't want to uh, end these rounds crazy quick if they're just trying stuff out. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing something with the pillars. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I am a very unlucky man, but I, now I feel like if I quit, just gonna look like I'm a rage quitter. I'm not. <laughs> I've been planning on backing out this round, but let's see what they do. Or are they actually are they actually playing now? I can't tell. I'm very confused. Or is this like the high level like meta like Little Crusader gameplay now? I don't know anymore. No, this looks legit now. This looks legit now. Twitter go bye-bye. Alright. Boom! So, am I, like, allowed to go hard now? I don't even know. I could ask in the chat. I think we can go hard now. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh, crap. See, I will stay here then. I don't feel like I'm quite intruding anymore. Uh oh. Look, they can fight. My last one a lot. Oh, no, 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 very good cardio.
No. No. Get this one. They're not moving. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. It's up to you, sir. Get the bird. Yes. No. Oh god. That's not getting the bird, that's becoming a bird. It's completely different. Completely different. Zoom. Am I a bully? Oh, I'm a, I'm a bully. <laughs> but it's okay. Now I get to be an even bigger bully. It's time to unleash the beast. No regrets. No remorse. That's what I thought. Uh, you know what? The beast was not unleashed. In fact, the beast looks pretty broken. This is why we don't show confidence, because we show confidence and just things go very wrong, you know? And I don't like that. What a great last stream. <laughs> oh man. Good shit. I'll GG on the list. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be a good boy. Alright. Uh, I kind of like want to go into the plaza really quick. I know we're already like 30 minutes deep. Let's make this like a little bit of a longer episode. Let me just kind of go in plaza really quick. Was it Monday? Did arcade scores reset today? Can I do like my quick stack them round? We'll see. Are they going on in the plaza right now, like mini game wise? No. Okay. Let's see. I'm curious what we are up to. Two, four. Oh, yeah, I can easily do this. It's nothing. Let's get my top ten. It's only Monday, but let's just say I got top ten for another week. Why not? Just gotta press the space bar with power. And that's grow up for the first two rounds, and I got it. 241 is like literally like nothing. But I'm feeling a little bit, uh, off. Yeah, that's bad. Let's just retry it. Uh, I'll get this, though. We'll, we'll, we'll get my top ten. As long as I do rounds one and two perfect, and don't really, you know, screw up round three that bad, we're fine. And I do that so often, it's whatever. Boom. 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 Shakalaka. Keep screwing up. I was four for the tickets, I don't care. It's probably because I'm like centering it. I've talked about this a lot. Like in tower, like whenever I play stack them, I always like kinda going off center by one block. Because I feel like it's just more responsive for some reason. Or just more in tune with my reaction time. So when I do direct center like this, I feel like I always screw up earlier. I can still do it, but I'm just not used to it. Although I feel like I kind of just got screwed. I feel like I'm getting screwed right now. Can we one block it? Centered again. Oh, 
Oh well. We'll get 241. I know that much. No big deal. Scores are low. The opportunity to take this is mine. Opportunity. I think I just completely butchered that word. I speak what? I speak really fast and always screw stuff up. I wonder if there's like a little bit of like a server lag that yeah, there I think there's a little bit of a server lag. That might be happening. I, what, I should check my ping after this round. I swear some of these are like jumping by like two blocks at once. Come on, buddy. Just hold together. What? That one's on me, though, I think. There we go. We're off center. Much more comfy. Much more room to think and time things out. What? <laughs> Maybe we're just bad today. I think I'm just bad. You know, it's going through like all the griefs of video games, right? Like it can't possibly be my, my fault, it's the lag, it's nothing like that. And then you just kind of come to acceptance and just accept the fact that maybe, just maybe, you're just... Mm, I don't know if I'm actually bad. I actually cannot tell you right now if I'm bad or not. I might be, but I just... Something's off. I don't really screw up stack them this bad. Like, ever. I can usually get through, like, stage 3, no problem. And then it's like, once I get to stage 4, I start missing. Okay, I think I was just done. Okay, that one was me being bad. I, I'm not gonna make excuses. No excuses for that one. All this just for a 241. Dear lord. At one point, I was getting 600s. I play DVD for a living, which is based on pressing the spacebar in proper timing. It's jumping. 100%. <laughs> oh, man. It's like the real machines, like in the actual arcades, where you get to the minor prize, no problem, but everyone knows you're gonna, like, push for the major. Because the miner gets you, like, a freaking keychain of, like, I don't know, like, a piece of pizza. But, like, a really bad one. And then, like, it's, like, two more blocks up, it's major, and you get, like, I don't know, a freaking, like, mansion. With, like, seven dogs. It's like, of course you're gonna push for it, then it's just rigged. There we go. There we go. This is what I like seeing. This is me in my tip top form now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think I'm top 10 already. So it doesn't even matter. Let's see if we can get like top 3 maybe. I doubt it. You never know. Damn. 420. <laughs> Perfect. Top three. Give me that. Hell yeah. <laughs> I did it. Anything else I want to do here before I uh, call the video? I'm not getting 120. Not happening. doing all this arcade, but I barely touch it, like, during Double Ticket Week. I think I did, like, 20 minutes of the arcade during Double Tickets. I even record it. What is wrong with me? Not like I really need the tickets at this point. Why well, does it feel like I have more time than, like, I normally would? 
because I'm playing like crap, yet I'm getting 80. I'm not... Can I do one more of these? I missed everything? Holy crap, I'm missing everything. Leave it to me to like do really good and just really bad, like back to back. With no rhyme or reason. Like, it feels like just typical me. Oh, 100% just typical me. Just me being me. Oh well. Let's get the fook out of here. And I mean, I guess Booze Bash is starting in 30 seconds, so I might as well do that too. I've already been recording for 40 minutes? What? Holy crap, dude. Feels like I just started the recording. Dear lord. It's a nice, chonky episode we got here. Alright, let's booze bash it up, because I feel like I'm getting pretty high up on the leaderboards for it. Becoming a booze bash master. <laughs> so I'm going to have, like, on my, tomb to, on my tombstone when I die. Alex did not do really too much great. He played a lot of video games on the internet, but my god, he was able to play booze bash. And honestly, someone has to have the title, you know? So, there's always someone that's best at something, right? No matter what it is. So you know there is the world's best booze bash player somewhere in this world. And it might as well be me. Don't even hate. Ugh. It's starting to get kind of hard to hit these, though. So I'm getting the technique down. I feel like I just zoomed. Okay. It's like a minute and a half of this. Oh god, my score is gonna be great by the end of this. Like for the all-time leaderboards, because I believe Booze Bash counts you like all time. This is getting very hard to look at though. But I am getting points for days. I can just tell there's more alcohol somewhere on here, and I just kind of aim towards it. Hunt what? That was nutty. Can I get 5,000? I mean, I'm almost guaranteed for 5,000, so I miss everything now. Hell yeah, dude. Easy 5,000. Easy headache as a result. Do best. I'll take it. Let's kill. And let's look at the collection book. Uh, let's go to leaderboards. I don't know if it's automatically updated already. We'll see. 976. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'll be the best booze basher ever.
Was that actually like the updated score or no? That's the question. It must be. I guess we're going to call it there. I mean, it's been 40 minutes. Dicked around a little Crusaders, showed a little condo, which, you know, wasn't up... I, I think it had, like, a good baseline. I think it just needs to, like, stick the execution a bit better, so we looked at that. Uh, did a nice little thing of Accelerate. Uh, played in the arcade, got, like, you know, uh, number three worldwide uh, for the week and stack them for now, at least. Uh, played some Super Hoopers, did some Booze Bash. This is a pretty uh, complete video. I felt inspired to play this game today, so you know what? I think it worked out. But uh, let's call it there. Um, I'll catch you guys whatever video you catch me in next be it like in 20 years and I'm playing something else and you just caught this for some reason or maybe you just watch this channel all the time in which case I'll probably be recording a Paradise Killer episode uh, for like you know like tomorrow or like in two days or something so or maybe you'll catch me next tower video who knows what, what, however you want to watch me if I if you uh, watch me again thank you very much but uh, I'm Audi y'all have a great day and as always toodles y'all